Thank you very much, uh, Paul, for the presentation. Thank you, everyone. I'm delighted to see so many faces. I mean, it's not the first time that I'm the last presenter of a conference, and I don't know whether that's a deterministic or a stochastic phenomenon, but uh, it has ended me speaking to the chairman and the presenters within the panel. So, so it's really great to see so many of you here for tagging along. And, uh, well, uh, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, basically a joint effort from a number of uh, institutions, as you can see from the list of authors. I'm not going to go through every one of them, otherwise I will speak to you for 10 minutes out of the 15 minutes. But uh, just to highlight that uh, between the players that we have in this list, we have uh, members from the industry, so we have a TSO, we have a utilities, renewable energy systems operator, which is Verdrola, we have EnergyNet as a TSO, uh, we have uh, some uh, wind turbine manufacturers, which is Gamesa Electric, and a number of research institutions uh, in Norway, which is Sintef, Technali in Spain, uh, Ricerca sul Sistema Energetico in Italy, and Stratford University and Cardiff University in the UK. With that said, huh. uh, this is a brief overview of the presentation. I'm not going to mention, to repeat this, you can, you can just read it. I, I will just make a parenthesis though about the Best Paths project because this is in line with some of the topics that have been covered from the very beginning and the keynotes. So this is also an HBDC project. Uh, I'll particularly talk about the open access toolbox which is the deliverable of the demo in the project I work for and uh, some interesting results. But the main contribution is this open access toolbox. Okay, uh, the motivation. I don't think I will say too much here because we have been discussing about this for two days already and I won't pretend that I'm better at saying this than our keynote from this afternoon, uh, Carl. So, so he gave a taste already. We know why we're doing HBDC. It's interesting to do it. There are some drivers. And uh, just to highlight that I'm going to focus on a uh, voltage source converter based uh, MTDC, multi-terminal DC grids, in the discussion that is coming after. This parenthesis about the project, I think it's relevant to mention a couple of things. Uh, this is a major FP7 European project. Uh, it is not only about DC, so there are five demonstrations within the project. It's a large, uh, around 35.5 million euro EC, European Commission funded project. Four years, we are entering the third year now. Uh, and this, this is industry led, so quite relevant. We have ATSOs across uh, different countries in Europe and the number of research institutions and utilities. Uh, the, the demo I'm working for is demo number one, which is basically integrating offshore renewables through MTDC grids, but the other demos, for example, demo number two, we have actually one of the representatives here uh, from RTE, they look at, at interoperability issues. Uh, demo number three, they look at upgrading the Sacoi link, Sardinia, Corsica, Italy, that Carl also mentioned in his keynote. Uh, demo number four is about repowering AC corridors. And demo number five is about superconductivity. So quite a range of topics here. Specifically about my uh, demonstration, the one that I contribute to with uh, these research partners that we can see here, or logos. Um, this output, that is this best uh, parts open access toolbox, pretty much links to objectives number one, two, and four from the objectives of the demo. So we look at both electrical interactions, the risk in multi-vendor approaches, and validated models through uh, the simulation of a real network, in that case is the West Denmark DK1, with information provided by EnergyNet, by making available some uh, white boxes, pretty much. Related to objective number three, what we are doing here in the project is going to be validated experimentally in uh, lab facilities in Sintef, which are already constructed. They are being commissioned now. 
Uh, motivation, well, we know for a number of reasons that uh, HPDC manufacturers provide sometimes for the sake of research to the academia, I'm a member of the academia, uh, some gray boxes, let's say, in which we may not know all the details inside of them for a number of reasons. The idea is making use of the expertise from these different partners across different countries to provide boxes which are open uh, that we have some confidence that will give us some reasonably res good results. And on top of that, uh, well, there's some interaction between these two demos, the one that looks at the interoperability, to see whether these models make some sense. And to some extent they do. So the toolbox, uh, this is what I'm going to be focusing about for the next uh, 10 minutes or so. Uh, this is made of basic blocks, as you can see from these uh, MATLAB Simulink uh, a screenshot. So we have a number of boxes that represent a building block from a, an offshore integrated uh, wind turbine based renewable grid through MTDC. Uh, and the idea is that the user can make use of any of this and interconnect them the way they want to uh, simulate systems. So uh, this model is, and th this is in response to some of the really nice criticisms the, the paper received during the reviewing process. Now it's fully published in the Best Parts website. So you can just go to the link and directly, as long as this is not ridiculously slow. Yeah, here we are. You just go to publications. And I was in publications, sorry. And you just can download it here. So uh, we are open to criticism, so please use it. This is for the open public, free of charge. Obviously, the downside here is that we are not responsible for any uh, fireworks you may obtain after testing something wrong. So we are the, the messengers, not the, uh, and that's it, don't shoot us. Uh, now, this is an ongoing uh, project, so a lot of the details on the toolbox are provided in one of the deliverables of the project. This is not made available to the open public, but we are into conversations to try to publish as much as we can because there's some IP from some of the partners, so we cannot make that available yet. About the building blocks that this toolbox has, well, we have, I'm highlighting them here, we have blocks for high-level controllers, I'll talk about this in a, in a bit. Converter stations, an AC grid model, a wind turbine model, and DC cables. So basically, whenever you go to the website and you try to download this, what you will encounter is a box prompting you to put some of your details because we're really interested to see who is using our output of this project, and then you can just download it. There's a little disclaimer, which is basically what I said. You're responsible for what you do with it. Not the European Commission or Carlos from Cardiff. Uh, accompanying the toolbox, we have a little manual and which describes three topologies that we are putting together as well. So the toolbox is accompanied by a set of M files, so some subroutines in MATLAB, some S functions as well, and some NDLs or SLX, depending on the version of MATLAB. Uh, and uh, the, the, the manual describes how to connect them and some of the simulation results that we arrived with them. So what I'm going to be talking about now is these elements. So there are more details on this on the paper, of course, but in a nutshell, we have converter stations, which we are based on modular multi-level converters that we have several presentations on this. Uh, we are trying to give some flexibility to some extent. I mean, we appreciate that this is the emerging technology nowadays, so we're doing MMCs. Uh, we offer the option to the user either to choose average models or switch models, so you just have to change a little parameter in the mask of the block. And if you go into the M files that describe the model, then you can change other things, like the number of levels. You can pass from full bridge to half bridge as well configurations. We have a high-level controller with three control modes that we thought that were the most relevant to discuss, like the presentation that we have uh, yesterday, uh, the third presentation in the opening session, where we have an, open, uh, uh, an ACI landed mode. In the case we run into those 
situations, and the typical DC voltage reactive power, active power, reactive power, three modes. In terms of the AC grid, this is the classical IEEE 9 bus three generator power system, so it includes loads, transformers, transmission lines. DC cable, this is based on uh, frequency dependent models on the universal line model approach. Uh, some of the subroutines were to make this work, and that is one of the uh, disadvantages of MATLAB, but the way that we dealt with that was doing things in PSCAD, capture some relevant information and program that information as a, assess functions so that we can have this frequency dependence. Because if you use your scene power systems, there's no such thing as a frequency dependent model per se. The wind farm, these, well, there's some compromise on the simulation time because if you have a, I don't know, an offshore wind, wind farm with 40 wind turbines and you try to simulate this in MATLAB, well, good luck with that. It would be like my old times as an MSc student several years ago that I would just run my simulation, go back the next day after eight hours and it would crash after an hour. So, so there are some simplifications in the system. The idea is to model one of the wind turbines in, in detail with some simplifications in the converters and the rest of the wind turbines as a current injection to, to have the rest of the dynamics there. Under some simplifications, the detailed wind turbine generator includes a type four generator based on PMSG's permanent magnet. Additionally to that, it includes all, all the control algorithms related to the control of the wind farm. So that's really the toolbox, but we said, okay, uh, this is also relevant to the demo project itself. We, we would like to have some system configurations to assess whether our models are relevant or not, whether they work correctly. Um, as one of the initial deliverables of the demo number one in best parts was putting together a number of topologies, which we thought would be representative either of existing systems, point-to-point -point links, we have heard a lot about that, and some likely scenarios that we will exhibit in the future if we have MTDC grids at some point. So the topologies, I won't give too much details about them, but I, I, just for the sake of completeness, I'm, I'm just going to show them point-to-point -point links, three terminal systems with a, a synchronous potentially offshore grids, six terminal where we have connection between offshore and onshore through HBDC links, separately connected, and we have an AC coupling between the wind farms. A similar topology to the previous one, but with a real MTDC grid. So the coupling is on the DC side here. And a really challenging topology, which is of 12 terminals, a mesh HBDC grid. In addition to this, one of our partners was looking at DC interarrays, so the wind turbines would be connected at the DC side. Um, this is not something I want to touch about uh, upon a lot here. This was part of one of the publicly available deliverables of the project, but in which we basically defined some key performance indicators uh, along with other, de de other demo partners. So the ones that I am emphasizing a little bit in terms of the simulation results of this presentation are the ones that I'm highlighting here in, in purple. These reflect on either AC to this interaction, both in steady state, dynamically, uh, DC fault uh, performance and protection, this DC interarray connection that I was talking about a little bit before, resonances, and I'll make a parenthesis on that, and grid code compliance against national grid, grid code. Yes, I'll just finish really quickly. Uh, so I won't focus too much on the simulation results, but it is just a way to demonstrate the capabilities of the toolbox. So KPI one, so steady state re errors, where we had a connection in topology C, which is the one connected at the DC site. So we can see that uh, there's little steady state error on that uh, configuration. Uh, for uh, ACDC interactions transient, some uh, variations on the wind farm input, the references are followed reasonably well. Sorry for going through this a little bit quickly, but I'm, I'm sure that you guys want to go home already. 
Um, regarding faults, just looking at selectivity and fault isolation. Uh, well, number of fault cases were considered here. DC interarray topologies, like the one that we have here with, with, with two wind turbines. Uh, this is regarding, yes, interactions in the sense of resonances. Here we're proposing a framework to analyze this because we are quite aware that the AC system that we're modeling and using here was the IEEE system. So that may be a little fictitious. So, but what we're proposing is a framework to study it. So, so, so you can just see into the deliverable number 3.2 that will be also published really soon, a condensated version to see about the framework. And finally, something related to grid code, like a change in frequency and how there's low rejection in the wind turbine that, uh, sorry, in the converter that is subjected to uh, uh, the low frequency, uh, the, the increasing frequency. So this is the final slide, just to not keep you more here unnecessarily. Uh, basically, this is an open access, free of charge toolbox that a number of research and industrial partners are putting together for you users, either from the academia, the wider, wider audience, or from the industry, to, to play with it. Uh, please do that, please download it. Please let us know if there are any major errors, because, well, we may have made some mistakes. Or if you would like to have a, another release of the toolbox with additional elements, like a DC circuit breaker, we are not considering that here. So I think that's it. Thank you very much, and I'm open to questions. Thank you, Carl.